like, bro. She got, she got a kid. Look at his back. Oh my god. <laughs> Another reaction and safe and reacting to Joe Biden's mental condition is presidential by Andrew Stoltz. Man, it's been a little while since we reacted to an Andrew Stoltz video, bro. <laughs> Straight savage, and we all know what's going on with um, you know, broken Biden, his mental health, and you know, the whole dementia shit. He, he had to do, I swear to God, he's going to be in office for like two minutes before he has an aneurysm, and then you know, Camilla Harris is going to slither her little snake ass all in. And take the presidency. Y'all know what's gonna happen. That's if he wins. That's if he wins. And all y'all talking about if Trump wins, y'all gonna revolt. <laughs> Not gonna do anything. I was telling you, man. When he roll in with them tanks and they tell your ass to go in the house, you are gonna go in the house. Subscribers going up fast, bro. So if you're enjoying these videos, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and share. It's the road to 1K. Oh yeah, we finna hop right into this video. It's time to talk about Joe Biden and how him running for president in his current condition is absolutely perfect. Yeah, he's the ideal candidate, not only for a clinical trial for dementia, but also to be the leader of the free world. Now, I know what you're thinking. How can he stop Trump if he can't stop wet in the bed? Uh, I'll tell you how. Because Biden is yeah. more Trump than Trump. Everything Trump does, Joe Biden does better. Think about it. Why do people love Trump? Trump's not controlled by anyone. Oh, yeah? Well, Joe Biden isn't even controlled by Joe Biden. Oh, my God. <laughs> again. Oh, yeah? Well, Joe Biden is so old, he just wants to make America. Trump says you can grab a woman by the <laughs> pussy. Oh, yeah? Biden goes out there and gets it done. No locker room talk over here. Biden's out there stealing third. Knuckles deep. Just ask Tara Reid. Allegedly. Yeah. Allegedly. He was accused of fingering the girl from American Pie. What's more American than that? Apple pie and taking something that's not yours? Yo, that's the wrong Tara Reid. Wait, really? Yeah. Well, so what? He invaded the wrong place. Is there anything more presidential than that? Now, I know a lot of people are asking why Biden won't respond to these allegations. And I'll tell you why. Because he's a goddamn American, okay? And we do not negotiate with Tara Reeds. I mean, terrorists. I had a mental lapse there. It happens to the best of us. Right, Joe? We all oh, need to be self-evident. All men and women created by the go you know the thing. Look at him, man. Yeah, we do know the thing. I'm telling you guys, Biden is Trump 2.0. Think about it. Trump separates immigrant kids from their parents at the border. Joe Biden, he separates American kids from their parents at the White House. See? Biden loves the children. Do you really think Trump ah, is more anti-abortion than oh, Biden? Biden? Hell no. Every fetus Just that's aborted right is a lock of hair he doesn't get to sniff. <sighs> Biden is a Biden. man of principle. He likes his women like he likes his scotch. Age 12 years and stored in a cellar. Jesus. Trump, he's just like his hair, always flip-flopping. But Biden, he's plugged in. Trump loves to brag about his black employment numbers. But what black people is he really employing? The only black person in Trump's cabinet is Aunt Jemima. I know Ben Carson is in his cabinet. But I'm not going to let the facts ruin a great joke. Can we get back to this? Thank you. Seriously, though. Joe Biden actually employs black people. Who do you think works in his retirement home? Jamaican women have been taking care of Biden ever since he went into that home 40 years ago. Why do you think he wants Kamala Harris as his running mate? Biden wouldn't be able to function without black women. As vice president, he was carried out of bed and propped up on that podium every day. How do you think Michelle's arms got so toned? So look, Holy the shit. choice is <laughs> we're entering one of the most important arm. presidential elections of this decade. And we have to decide the future of this great nation. Times are uncertain. We're at the brink of war with China, a mathematical powerhouse, mind you. And we need someone who's up for that challenge. Do you feel confident with Trump in charge? Or would you want our very own arithmetic genius, Joe Biden? Well, folks, eliminate one tax the audio now. out of a trillion six hundred billion worth. For, uh, a trillion four hundred billion. Out of a billion four hundred million, a trillion, trillion. I should be a trillion what time four hundred billion dollars. That's what I thought. Whether you like it or it's not, fun, we don't need someone who's creating enemies. We need someone who's willing to build strong, healthy relationships. She forgot we had Biden enemies. has a track record of making friends. My long friend, time friend, and she's a friend. She's been my friend in and out of public life. 
Brian. Did you see that? He just made four friends and one friend. Now, that doesn't make sense to you because you're not a mathematical genius like Biden. $740 billion, billion dollars over 10 years. Now, we could sit here and wonder why we have yet another election where we must choose between the lesser of two evils and why the Democrats have failed yet again to propose a viable candidate, one who would conduct a policy-driven campaign and bring real conversation to American politics and potentially bring change to the American people. And it's probably because they know Trump is going to win and just need to sacrifice a candidate to the political machine. Or... We could just forget about it. Because I know one thing for certain. Biden Joe Biden, Biden will. <laughs> Peace. Broken Biden, baby. Touching children and forgetting his name since... I don't know. When he get, when he get dementia? 2016? I don't know, man. <laughs> Gotta react to some more Andy shows, man. He's, he really he came out of nowhere, bro. This crazy-ass comedy, bro. Like I seen like his little YouTube stand-ups and all that. And he really He's coming a long way, man. Good to you, Andrew. He got the whole podcast with the uh, damn. I forgot the one Indian dude's name, but he's funny as hell too. Uh, we got. I got to react to some of his stuff. But yeah, let us know what other videos from uh, Andrew Stolz you want to see down in the comments. But we'll see you next time. LBB. Peace.